first pitch is moments away here in Miami. Interleague Baseball comes your way next. Couldn't ask for a better night for baseball than the one we've got here in Miami as MLB The Show welcomes you to another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight it's game two of this three-game series as it'll be the Texas Rangers taking on the Florida Marlins. Hi again everyone, Matt Vaskersian. Happy to be with you here for this one and as always I'm joined by Major League veterans Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. How do we turn to you first? What are you going to be keeping an eye on in this matchup here? Well, one guy who really bears watching is Elvis Andrus. A lot of folks thought he should have been AL Rookie of the Year last year. Me among them. With his glove and speed, he's as dynamic a young player as there is in the game today. All right, Rex, more from Dave in a moment, but now it's time to check out the starting lineup for the visiting Texas Rangers. It's brought to us by our friends at State Farm. At home or away, State Farm is there. And on the mound to face this lineup, there you see the numbers for the hard-throwing right-hander, Josh Johnson. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Julio Bourbon. A move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. Temperature, 86 degrees here tonight as we get this one started. One, one coming now to Bourbon. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. And if they walk him, you can bet he's going to want to run. Spins and pulls this one down the line at first. And Cantu will just step on the bag himself for the out. Our umpires for tonight's ball game. The sheriff is behind the plate. That's Dallas Hodges. Max Stafford works first. Raleigh McClure at second. And crew chief Ed Coleman rounds out the crew over at third. So with one away, here's Michael Young now. Now a swing and a ball grounded foul off to the right side. Now a ball hit in the air to straight away left. This is carrying well out of here. So a solo home run for Michael Young. Seven home runs for him on the year now. As the Rangers strike first, it's one to nothing. Nelson Cruz will take his first cut to the ball game here. And a fastball's off the plate away. It's ball one. A matchup here of a couple of first-time All-Stars from a year ago. Here we go, guys. Come on. 
ball two now. And now after the home run, you can see he's a little leery about leaving one out over the plate again. One out, nobody on. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Three and one now as that misses down and in. And you got the big thunder coming next, so you don't want to lose this guy. Here he comes, 3-1. Called a strike, and it's full 3-2. and two. Oh, and that's how you neutralize a 3-1 disadvantage. You throw a perfect location pitch. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Tries to spot the three and two fastball on the outside corner. Let's see how close this pitch was. Hmm, as they used to say in the old days, close but no cigar. Josh Hamilton will get his first opportunity now. And that misses for ball one. And here in the first, he's going to run into big trouble if he can't locate his pitches better than that. Yeah. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 and now. And he's had a pretty good look at those first two pitches. Be aware, 2-0. Falls behind him here as that pitch misses. It's 2-1 and one now to the Texas left fielder. Just trying to find something that works here. The 2-1 and one pitch now to Hamilton. And a fastball here as he rides it the other way into left. A base hit. Oh, and sometimes it's nice when you don't get it on the sweet spot. If he hits this any harder, that's right in the left fielder's glove. It's dead. He drops it right in front of him. Ian Kinsler will stand in for the first time here. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Now a ball lined towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a 2 to nothing lead now. And now the pitching coach is going to pay a very early call here. He's probably saying, we just got to find a way to get out of this inning. I don't care what you do, but we can't let these guys run away with it. Let's go. Chris Davis will be the batter. And that misses ball one. And the one piece of good news here, this guy's a double play waiting to happen. 
First and second now, one man out. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. And we'll show you this delivery again in show motion. A lot of people think that when a guy throws hard, it's all about the arm. But you can see how big and strong this guy is. So he uses those legs to really drive through the release. That's nice. Two men on, two out, and that'll bring in Jared Salto Lamacchia. Here's a fastball called for strike one. And he's had to work hard here in this opening inning. I wonder how much that'll take out of him. He's set, now the pitch. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. And Cantu will take this one to the bag by himself, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and two men left stranded. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Rangers two, the Marlins coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Uh, look there at the Marlins starting lineup as put together by their skipper, Freddy Gonzalez. And there you see the numbers for the man they'll match up against, the hard-throwing right-hander, Tommy Hunter. A look at the Rangers' alignment defensively, highlighted by a former Gold Glove winner from his days at short, third baseman Michael Young. And now the center fielder Johnny Damon's in to kick off the home half of the first. Ball in there for a called strike. Daddy, I love you. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle, and this will find its way through a leadoff single for Damon. And that's an important at bat for a leadoff hitter. Down a couple runs, you gotta just get on base to try to get something started. Chris Coglin will get his first cuts here. Damon leads, here's the pitch, and that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Good showing for this guy yesterday. Three knocks in that ball game. There he goes. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Ah, and right to the spot, the shortstop just vacated, a base hit. Well, with a runner on the move there, that's just a great job of hitting to find the hole there. That runner will just pick up his base coach and wrap all the way around to third.
Hanley Ramirez will dig in here. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And this guy comes off a nice ball game yesterday. Two knocks with one of them being a big fly. And Ramirez can't get that one as he swings and misses for strike two. And this is how you bounce back from back-to-back -back hits. He could use a punch out here. And this is a called third strike by Dallas Hodges. Wow. And that's out number one. Big strike out there after allowing the first two batters in the game to reach base. Now he maybe even could shoot for a ground ball and get out of the inning on skate. Runners on the corners now with one man gone. And that'll bring in the powerful second baseman, Dan Ugla. There's the cut fastball, but it's low 1-0. and Gotta at least be thinking sack fly here if you're at the plate. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 and now. And if you're looking for a pitch up to hit a fly ball here, I don't think you're going to get one. Lays off, and it's 3-0. and And even though it's just the first, I'd be surprised if he gets anything good here on 3-0. and Jorge Cantu waits on deck. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. And you can tell they didn't want to give him much of a shot at anything there. We'll probably see a lot of that going forward. So the bases are loaded here with one man gone, and standing in the dangerous first baseman, Jorge Cantu. pitch is a changeup for a called strike and this guy couldn't get anything going yesterday 0 for 5 in our ball game hang with him outside for a ball one and one and the good news is they have the bases loaded but the bad news is this guy is a definite double play candidate Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Got to credit their patience here in this inning. They're just letting him work himself into trouble. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. And Kinsler will settle under this one for out number two. And that's a disappointing at-bat there with runners in scoring position. Even early on, you've got to be able to cash in. Cody Ross stands in now with a chance to either tie this game or perhaps give his club the lead. They just may get out of danger here as he gets him to ground it to third. And that's past the diving infielder for a base hit. And the second run is in the score as they bounce back to tie it at two. And Matt, look where this thing is. Bearing down and in. I tell you, no one likes the ball down there, but this is good wrist action here, and he handles it as well as you can. So it's first and second with two men gone. And digging in now the third baseman, Wes Helm. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. 
And these are important at bats here because here's a chance to get to a young pitcher early and force that manager to get someone up in the bullpen. From the belt, the pitch. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two left. Second inning coming up here in South Florida, and we are tied 2-2. Elvis Andrews leads things off now in the top half of the second. Good fastball out of Johnson there, and it's strike one. And this is what he needs to do a little more of. Establish that heater early in the count. Back-to-back oh. -back fastballs here as he takes control 0-2. And, and he did not have his best stuff in that first inning. That's a little more like it there. And this is near the line, but foul wide of first. Shooting for the outside corner, but he missed it one and two. And now a pitch on the way. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. The longer this at-bat goes, the more it swings into a hitter's favor. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. And too many three ball counts early in the ball game will just drive that pitch count up. Full count offering on its way. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Well, this winds up being a ground out, but still, that's not a bad at bat. He made him throw a lot of pitches to get that out. Tommy Hunter digs in at the plate. Here's the first offering. Off the plate and low here, ball one. And coming off that long duel to start the inning, you wonder if maybe he'll try to pitch to contact here. Now a hard liner towards short but right at the shortstop for the second out. And I think that might have even surprised the guy at the plate. Heck, pitchers aren't supposed to hit the ball that hard. Still didn't work out for him, though. Julio Borbon will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch coming. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. and And sometimes when you're a leadoff hitter, go ahead and take a pitch. Let your pitcher catch his breath for a second. Come on, 
in for a strike, it's one and one. Just couldn't recognize changeup out of the pitcher's hand. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And they can't run it down. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. And here in the early stages, he's already up over 40 pitches now. Tough take there on three and two, but a wise one apparently, as Dallas Hodges says, it's ball four. Well, sometimes early in the game, righties will have trouble locating the ball against left-handers, and this winds up being a two-out walk. So a runner at first with two away, and here comes the clutch hitting Michael Young. Fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. And with two outs and the number two hitter at the plate, this is a good time to steal, so you'd better keep your eye on him over there at first base. On the move is Bourbon. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Looking to move into scoring position with two out, but a good throw there nailed him. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied 2-2. John Baker will start things off in the bottom of the second. First pitch on the way. Ball one. And this guy wore the collar yesterday, an 0 for 4 game. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2 and 0. And let's see if he makes him throw a strike here. And he misses again with it here. It's 3-0 now. Yeah, step off. Take a deep breath here. You don't want to walk the leadoff guy on four pitches. That one's in there. 3-1. and one. And he's just waiting until he gets a strike. Not a bad decision to start an inning. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Payoff pitch coming. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Made it all the way back from down 3-0 and to get the strikeout. And you go back to taking that 3-0 and pitch. In hindsight, I bet he wishes he was swinging. Josh Johnson will stand in. Josh Johnson. It, 
And a fastball's in there for strike one. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. And when you got a pitcher 0 and 2, I think I'd try to make him chase something here. That misses one and two. And now maybe he'll use that high fastball to set up a curveball. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball, Tough pitch ball. to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. But now's where I think you have to sit change up and react fastball. Hit to the right side, but it'll wind up foul down the line at first. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. And he finally wins the battle here by just saying, here's my fastball and you can have at it. I think he finally just wore him down there. Johnny Damon will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. in there for strike one. Yeah, it really makes a difference when you can get that off-speed pitch over. Oh, one pitch is swung on and bounced to second base for Kinsler. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. Nothing across here this half. We've played two full, and we are tied 2-2. Michael Young is ready to go here as we begin the third. On, now the first pitch. On good opposite field power here as this fastball is taken high and deep to right. And that ball is gone! Home run! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game, and the Rangers have taken the lead. It's now three to two. Well, they say almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, but boy, the right fielder almost brings this one back into the ballpark. That was close. Nelson Cruz will stride in. He walked and came around to score his first time. In there, 0 and 1. And now you got to snap back in a hurry. You cannot dwell on that home run ball. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. I always thought you could tell a lot about a pitcher the way he responds to the next hitter after a home run. Some guys get that glazed over look to him, but you could see he would kept his focus and his composure. 
Josh Hamilton will dig in. He singled his first time around. First offering on the way. Tried to golf at it, but he missed strike one. Oh, that was in the mid before he even swung. And he lays off for ball one. And he'll wait for something a little higher that he can do something with. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And he's able to reach down and put this one away. Great concentration there for the second out. And these guys have really hit this pitcher hard. Even their outs in the outfielder line drives. Ian Kinsler will stand in, an RBI single in his first appearance. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. And you certainly want to make sure you throw strikes to this guy because he'll steal you blind if you give him a free pass. 2-0 on the way. Ball three. And he's not only missing the zone here, he's not even close. And he won't even have to take the bat off its moorings. A four-pitch walk here. Yeah, and I don't think they had any intention of giving him anything in the strike zone. That's just straight pitching around a guy. Chris Davis will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. And here's a fastball called for strike one. They've already touched him for three runs here early, so he's going to need to show some fortitude. He's ready now, the pitch. There goes Kinsler. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. We play two and a half. It's now a 3-2 Ranger lead. Chris Coughlin will step in to get things started for the Marlins. He'll be followed by the dangerous Hanley Ramirez on deck. First pitch to him. Lays off 1-0. Really starting to feel like summer here at the yard. Starting to see a few more kids out here now that school's out. And that's too high, ball two. And a fastball swung on and hit in the air to left. And Hamilton will look this one in for the first out. 
Looks like he settled in a bit after giving up those two runs in the bottom of the first. That's five in a row he's set down since that point. Leadoff man gone, so they'll work against the shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And that's what that four-seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. Here's the 1-0 now to Ramirez. Fastball again, but this one's by him for strike one. And he is just in complete control out there. Third inning, already a 3-2 ball game. Swing hard liner to left center. And this is going to find the alley. Extra bases here for Ramirez. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. And we'll watch this release again. That front shoulder might be flying open just a bit, and it'll cost you a little on the velocity side. And this ball's pounded for two bags. Dan Ugla will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. Fouled straight back. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he looks at a ball, one and two. This is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. And you'll see here from behind home plate, look at the rotation on this thing. It starts up around the shoulders and then boom, that's a hard late break. Jorge Cantu will dig in. He popped out his first time. Cutter runs outside, ball one. In the dirt, but Salta Lamaki is there to smother it. And oh, nearly had him going back to second, but he's able to sneak back in safely. Ball three as he misses low with it here. And on 3-0, and oh, I'd be surprised if this one's in the strike zone. I think they want to take their chances with the next guy. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Hits are now even at four apiece. The 3-1 is on the way. Hit high, but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Ball. And a swing and a miss as all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Three innings complete. It's the Rangers three and the Marlins two. Chris Davis will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth.
First pitch coming. Here we go. And he gets ahead 0-1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Trying to backdoor him, but it stays outside just a bit. Now a swing and a ball grounded foul off to the right side. And the fastball here is hit hard right back up the middle, and he's got a leadoff single. You think he squared that one up? Let's turn the radar gun around and put it on this line drive going out. Mmm, 102. Folks, that's a screamer. Jared Saltalamacchia will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. And low, it's a ball and a strike. And the way this game's going, I don't think either manager's going to do much sacrificing tonight. One one pitch on the way. And a cold strike two as he's pounding the knees here. Got to speed up your thought process here at the plate. At 94 miles an hour, you don't have long to react. This runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Mm, that's the kind of at-bat that makes you wish you took up soccer. That's going to hurt a while. Elvis Andrews will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And this is near the line, but foul wide of first. Now this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. And now be careful not to throw that thing right over your catcher's head. Fastball bounces up to the plate, and it's taken for a ball. And he's keeping the fastball low, at least. That's all right. On the ground for Ramirez. This could be two. To Ugla for one. On to Cantu, and it's a double play. Boy, when folks talk about the phrase tailor-made, you can take a video of this. One, two, three hops to short, and then an easy turn at second for the 6-4-3. Tommy Hunter will be the batter. Now the first pitch. At the knees, strike one. And these AL pitchers certainly don't get that much time in the batting cage. Oh. 
Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Now a ball rolled foul toward first as he stays alive. Next pitch from Johnson will be his 74th of the ball game. Another 0-2 coming. And he reaches for one but can't find it as he's down on strikes for the final out. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Rangers three and the Marlins two. Time to check out some scores from games going on around the interleague schedule brought to us by the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Cody Ross will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First pitch coming. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Swing and a liner toward right center. Cruz has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. Making a bid for his second hit of the game here, and he certainly hit it hard enough, but this winds up finding the outfielder's glove. That's a tough break. Wes Helms will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. Yeah, guys might chase a slider down and away, but not a fastball. And this one's too far inside, ball two. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Ready with the 2-1. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. And so after getting the ground ball with the fastball on that last pitch, that'll segue perfectly to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And whoa, look at that for a top speed. 98 miles an hour. That man is flat dealing. John Baker will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Now here's the first pitch. On a ball hit hard down the line toward the coaching box. It's a foul ball. And a fastball that misses badly there. It's one and one. And this is a guy you want because you'd love to have the pitcher leading off in the bottom of the fifth. Now a swing and a ground ball back up the middle. Oh, a tough play. Ah, uh, but the throw will be well late. 
So a good play, but it's all for naught as that'll be an infield single. Oh, and let's check this out in super slow motion. That's a huge play just to get a glove on it. And by the time he gets rid of this thing, there was no way he was going to get him at first. Josh Johnson will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Now a ball hit back up the middle, and that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Back-to-back -back hits now with two away, and if they can get a third, they should be able to at least tie up the ball game. Johnny Damon will step in, one for two in the ball game. Here's the first offering. Ball nope. one. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 and now. And after the back-to-back -back singles, he's looking a little shaky out there right now. And here's a fastball for a strike, 2-1 and one now. And he's taking a little off from his top speed, just need to get one over. Hard hit towards center. And that's in there. Base hit. And that's going to tie our ball game as the runner scores from second to make it 3-3 now. Boy, and after the first two batters in the inning, it looked like this time around it was going to be a breeze. But this is three straight hits now after two are out, and the last one gets them a run. Chris Coglin. We'll dig in. One for two thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. This is right by Salto Lamacchia to the backstop. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Mm, definitely not what you wanted there. Now a hit can mean two runs. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Two and one now. And remember, he's got a base open, so he can pick who he wants to pitch to here. Now a ball lined to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. The throw to the plate. A run is in. The tag, and they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. He played four full. The Marlins lead this one four to three. Julio Bourbon will start things out here in the inning for the Rangers with Michael Young to bat next. Here's the first offering. Too high, 1-0. And now let's see if he can settle in a little now that he's pitching with a lead. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Oh. 
And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike two. And when a guy like this lets two go in a row, you know he's looking for something else. Here's the pitch. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner, two and two. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Rolled softly down the line, and that is a foul ball. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. And here we get a look at his pitches by any to this point in the contest. He's at a total of 81 right now, so that count's starting to creep up just a little. Michael Young stand in with two home runs already under his belt in this one. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. and Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's 1-1. One and one. Three runs, five hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. And the fastball is lined into center field. That's a base hit. And after going strikeout, strikeout to start the inning, as a football colleague of mine might say, not so fast, my friend. He's going to have to work now with a two-out base runner. Nelson Cruz will have another go. He struck out looking his last time. to the right side but it'll wind up foul down the line at first ball one and when you need a double play ball I don't see the logic of working this guy up in the zone Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Hit the target, but this is low, 2-1. And, and this is a good time in the ballgame to be selective. Go ahead and run that pitch count up a bit. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. To Ugla for one. On to Cantu, and it's a double play, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for the Rangers. Score holds at 4-3. Hanley Ramirez will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Cruz is there and it takes just one pitch to retire the leadoff man in the home half of the fifth. So 
One gone now for Dan Ugla. Now a swing on the first pitch as he sends this one out to the second baseman, Kinsler. Oh, and it eats up Kinsler. Well, he's made it through two-thirds of these three, four, and five hitters. Let's see if he can set them down in order. And so two are gone now for Jorge Cantu. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. A lefty and a right-hander are throwing down there. Curveball just misses, apparently. 1-0. And that curveball just hasn't had as good a snap as we're used to seeing. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Got to bend the knees and go down and get that one. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. A 2-1 offering. And it misses three and one now. Just got to concentrate on that glove in situations like this. Just get it over. Cody Ross would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Go on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Five innings complete. The Marlins on top, four to three. Josh Hamilton will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Here we go. Come on, guys. And hmm, a fairly generous strike call there on a pitch that looked off the plate at strike one. Might have had a gripe there. That looked to be off the corner. And this is ripped down the first baseline. Oh, look at Cantu. And he'll get to the bag in time. What a do-it-yourself masterpiece. Ah, oh, this is a nice play here. Look at him stretch out to get this thing. And then he says, you know what? I'll just go ahead and do this all myself. Nice. So one away now, and here's Ian Kinsler. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Now here's the pitch. Outside for a ball, one and one. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. Hit hard, but fouled off to the left, and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. And you've got to be braver than a bullfighter to challenge this guy with a fastball. But he fires it right by him for the strikeout. First 
Chris Davis will step in. One for two in the ballgame. First pitch on the way. Right there for strike one. And he's been able to use that slider early in the count to get ahead. In there, and it's 0-2 now. And here in these fourth, fifth, and sixth inning, his control has been impeccable. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Up with it is Ugla. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. Six, seventh, and eighth place hitters due up in the bottom of inning number six. The Marlins lead it four to three. Cody Ross will stand in to lead things off as the Marlins look to get things started here in their half of the sixth. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. Yeah, and when you leave it up in the hitter's eyes like that, he knows enough not to chase out there. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. And now in the mound, you lose the advantage of strike one by missing with two straight. Fouled back. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, three and two. And if you throw enough fastballs in succession, guys are going to time it, so be careful. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. I imagine they'd like to get one more inning out of him, and he's off to a good start. You see the numbers, five and a third, four runs allowed. Not the greatest performance, but passable. Wes Helms will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And he'll lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1-0. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. That was a good spot to miss. That thing fell right through the bottom of the zone. John Baker will be next. And he misses ball four.
And at 3-1, and one, you can afford to look for something up a little, so he wasn't going to bite on that low one. Now Ron Washington's up out of the Ranger dugout on his way to the mound. And that will be the final pitch we see in this ballgame from Tommy Hunter. Gone after five and a third here as he never really found his groove in this one. So with a lefty waiting, they'll go to a lefty of their own out of the bullpen here. John Baker will be the batter, one for two thus far. Here's the first pitch. And this ball is going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. And here's a fastball called for strike two. This guy's come right out of the bullpen throwing strikes. That's a key. Ball, blew it right by him and there are two down Ooh, and the intimidation factor was definitely in evidence there he's not gonna back down from too many hitters out there especially number eight guys and he threw that ball right by him Josh Johnson will step in one for two in the ball game In the air now to straightaway right field. And Cruz will put this one away to retire the side. Marlins leave one, but they hang on to a one-run lead, four to three. Jared Saltalamacchia will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And that misses low and away, ball one. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try to milk one more inning out of him on the mound. comes back with one that misses here and it's one and one to the Ranger backstop. And these guys could really use a leadoff base runner here. One one on the way. One and two now. Yeah, good crossfire action on the fastball there. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here he comes again, 1-2. And this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. And even with two strikes, that's not a tough pitch to lay off there. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. 
And they'd certainly take a walk here. Anything to get something started. Fouled back. The 3-2 one more time. Line hard to center field. Damon is there and he has it for the first out. And you keep thinking maybe this will be his last inning. But if he keeps on rolling through the lineup like he is, why take him out? So one gone in the inning now for the shortstop, Elvis Andrus. First offering on the way. And he lays off there, 1-0. And he's not going to swing at borderline pitches. He knows what his assignment is. And a foul ball straight back. Outside, two and one. Man, is he going to need some ice tonight? He's at 110 pitches now. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. And this is the potential tying run up there, so you've got to make him swing the bat here. Now the pitch. And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Well, the last thing a manager wants to happen in this spot is to have his pitcher suddenly lose the strike zone and put the possible tying run on base. He's starting to paint himself into a corner now. Here comes Marlon skipper Freddie Gonzalez on his way to the mound. And we'll have a change forthcoming as that'll be all for Josh Johnson. So as he leaves with the bases empty, he stands to be the winning pitcher here tonight if the bullpen can hold up the one-run lead. Jose Barris will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. So a runner at first now with one away and stepping up the right fielder, Vladimir Guerrero. And a swing by Guerrero, but he gets under it and lifts a fly ball. Coglin comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. And that hit streak we talked about could be in some jeopardy here as he remains hitless for the game. Julio Bourbon will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And now the Marlins' bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. He waits. Now the pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. And at a 4-3 game late, every at-bat takes on added significance. Three runs, six hits. And no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Boy, had a good job anticipating that pitch in the dirt. Oh. 
Uh, and that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. <laughs> I think he's loose. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Johnny Damon will lead off when we return, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. New pitcher ready to take over on the mound, a one-time starter, Joaquin Benoit. Johnny Damon will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. And a fastball, very easy to lay off that one. It's ball one. In there, and it's even at one. Hmm, I'm surprised he didn't take a whack at that one. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. And now this is bobbled out in center. And I'll tell you what, when you've got a base stealer like this on at first, you don't want to play too close to the vest here. Let her hang. Use that speed as a weapon. Chris Coughlin will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Throw over to first, has to dive, but he's back. And a ball, 1-0. These guys have played it pretty close to the vest so far. No stolen base attempts as of yet. one -oh pitch now. There goes Damon. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. Oh, and it eats him up. But a good job of staying with it as he throws his man out. Well, he could have given up on this one, but he regrouped and got his man anyway. Hanley Ramirez will step in with a big opportunity to get that insurance run home from second. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And that's a big run out there at second. You gotta keep this a one-run game. And that's right there, and we're even at one. And he doubled earlier tonight. He'd certainly love another one right here. Watch the fastball miss down low. It's two and one. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. Yeah, smart to be careful with this guy, especially with the base open. Pause, now the pitch. Now a ball hit high in the air and deep down the line in left. And back up into the seats, though it had the distance. Oh boy, here's that swing and show motion. If you're gonna flip a bat like that, you better be darn sure the ball's out of here. Pitchers don't like that all too much. And 
And oh, a tough take there on three and two, but a wise one apparently, as Dallas Hodges says, it's ball four. And he's saying, give me a break. I mean, that's right there. I'll tell you though, complaining like that's only gonna make that strike zone tighter. Dan Ugla will step in, a ground out victim as last time. He's ready, now the pitch. Slider, but that's low as it's dug out by the catcher there. And this is a big chance to break open what's been a tight game to this point, and they finally got the right guy at the plate to do it, too. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. And he's working hard from the neck up right now. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Comes set, now the pitch. And that misses two and two. Oh, now what do you go back to here? Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. And he's just starting to dig his own hole at the plate right now. That's the second time he's struck out in the ball game. And you can see on swing track, he needs to be more selective up there. Jorge Cantu will stride in, rounded out his last time through. Too low, 1-0. And, oh. and keep in mind, there's speed on the bases here. And can two won't offer it that one either. It's 2-0. and oh. And it's imperative that you get a good jump out there at second right now, and first for that matter. Two down, runners at first and second. 2-0 count, the pitch, and he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. In the air to straightaway center field. Bourbon is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Marlins strand a pair, and it remains a 4-3 game. Michael Young will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Pitch swung on and hit in the air for the center fielder, Damon. And he's got it for out number one. Tight game here. 4-3 our score as we take the opportunity to compare the performances turned in by the two starters. So a new pitcher is set to go now as we'll see the right-hander Brian Sanchez get the call. Nelson Cruz will be the batter. 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. And 
And now Leo Nunez starts to loosen up in the Florida bullpen. And he takes ball one. And this has been a well-played ball game. No errors on either side. Now a swing and a ground ball for Ramirez at short. Throw in time at first for route number two. Eighth inning here from South Florida as you get a look at the line score to this point. The hometown Marlins leading this one as they look to send this crowd home happy. Josh Hamilton will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. And this is the time of the game where this part of the lineup really needs to come through. Two out, nobody on. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. And that thing just nosedives at the end. Hit hard towards second. But well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They still trail it here, four to three. Dustin Nippert will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Cody Ross will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right-hander's begun to warm up out there. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. And he misses again, 2-0. and oh. And the adrenaline might be flowing a little too strongly right now. Now a swing and a ball grounded foul off to the right side. And boy, he's just saying, where do I have to put it? Three and one now. Ah, oh, come on already. Now here's the pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And Kinsler will flip it on to first for out number one. Boy, it's important to hold serve here in the bottom of the eight, so that's a good job of getting the leadoff guy right there. They need to keep that deficit at one before they take their final hacks in the ninth. Wes Helms will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. Catches the outside edge, one and one. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a ball line softly to the left side. And plenty of time over there at third to get a glove up, and there are two down.
John Baker will get another crack, one for three thus far. And he lays off a fastball, looked good, but it's 1-0. and oh. And that thing looked like it was still rising at the end. one oh on the way. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Inside and low, two and one. Line fouled off to the left and a few goes back. Bases are empty here with two men out. And here's a sinker that causes him to back away as that just about got him. Whew, almost untied his shoelaces with that one. Now the three and two pitch. On the ground is second. Up with it is Kinsler. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Ninth inning coming up. Florida's out in front, four to three. And now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. On to try and close this one down is the veteran right-hander Leo Nunez. Ian Kinsler will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. He's got to find a way to get on any way he can. Go, guys. The 1-0 -oh pitch. 2-0. and -oh. Not exactly what you want when you're trying to close out a ball game. He just can't find the strike zone yet. Pitch is inside, and he can't find the zone all of a sudden. 3-0. and oh. And with a potential tying run at the plate, you can't give up a leadoff walk here. Taking all the way, and it's 3-1 and one now. Ooh, and the ballpark just held their breath on that one. That was right down the pike. Three one on the way. Called strike and that'll run it full. And now he's seen five pitches, but he hasn't taken the bat off his shoulder. Now a ball lined back over second. And that'll be a base hit, so they couldn't ask for more as the possible tying runs aboard to kick off the ninth. And this is everything you could ask for when you're leading off an inning down by one. Now you've got all sorts of options here to try to get that tying run into scoring position. Chris Davis will step in with the tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. And this is near the line, but foul wide of first. 
Nobody out, runner on first. Now a throw over to first, and he'll dive back in. And here's a very close pitch up around the letters. Looked good, but it's a ball one and one. And if this isn't a great baseball game, I don't know what is. Change up. Good pitch there. One and two. Josh Johnson in line for the W if the lead holds throughout. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Got to make sure you cut down the gaps here and avoid the extra base hit if at all possible. A runner at first with no outs here. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Oh, and that's a big strikeout here with that tie and run still at first. Now all they need is maybe a ground ball to get him out of it. A new pitcher is set to go now as we'll get a look at the Venezuelan-born left-hander, Reniel Pinto. Jared Saltalamacchia will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch to him. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. And this is the fifth pitcher they've used in the ball game. So that bullpen's getting awfully lonely down there. Runners on first with one down. And he comes back with one that misses here, and it's one and one to the Ranger backstop. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And that misses 2-1. Two 2-1. And one. Two and one. This is your prototypical hit and run count, so you've got to be aware defensively. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Will this be a big out out of the bullpen? Kentu will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. And here's a spot where he's probably looking for something hard again, but instead they change up on him, get him out in front a little, and all he can do is pop it straight up. Elvis Andrews will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. And, hmm, not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. and oh. Boy, where'd that miss? Rough way to start an A-B on the mound. Oh, yeah, guys. Fouled straight back. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Boy, and it's all come down to this. 
And this crowd wasn't all that big, but they've stuck around to the final out. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. That's a great job of pitching right there. With a game on the line, he comes right after him and gets the strikeout for the victory. Entertaining ball game by and by, so let's go ahead, Dave, and make this fellow right here a deserving recipient of our Topps Player of the Game Award. Yeah, Matt, a three-hit ball game for him, and a couple of those were key hits as he swung the bat very well in this one. So that'll just about wrap things up. For Dave Campbell and the Wonder Dog Rex Hudler, I'm Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. This has been a presentation of MLB 10 The Show. For more, click on over to MLB10theshow.com. The Marlins win it 4-3. A post-game highlight package is next, so until next time, good night from South Florida.